you saw that, right? We have an empty living room right now because we are waiting for some furniture to arrive. Uh, decided to buy a new sofa, love seat, and uh, recliner. Dog had ripped up the uh, old furniture. That window that I showed you, we love a sofa right in front of it. And the dog used to climb up on the sofa, climb up on the back of the sofa, and go up there and sit in the window like a cat. Um, we had two cats before we got the dog. And she was just a puppy. She wasn't actually much bigger than the cats. And when she saw them going up into the uh, window, she decided that that's what uh, we're supposed to do. And so she started doing it too and thought she'd grow out of it. But... 10 years later and uh, 50 more pounds and we got a 60 pound dog that jumps up in that window and sits up there like a cat. Sometimes she'll actually lay down up there and just uh, look outside. But over the last 10 years, she uh, ripped the back of the sofa. So <laughs> for the last six months, I had it duct taped up because I didn't know if I wanted to buy a new sofa just for her to rip it up again. And we decided that we just needed to get one and uh, we're going to rearrange the furniture a little bit so she can't climb in that window anymore and uh gonna put the recliner there by the window and she won't be able to climb up anymore so we should be good to go but yeah it's kind of strange to see an empty living room but guys are supposed to come it's 9 a.m and uh they're supposed to be here between 9 and 11 so i would imagine that probably mean one o'clock you know how it goes when you're waiting for a delivery crew to deliver something you bought they give you a a window and then they're usually late but we'll see what happens so anyway it is january 10th and uh we haven't been back to work yet since the christmas holiday but we were closed for two weeks uh office was closed shop was closed everybody took a uh, the company's done that for years they closed down between christmas and new year and because of the way the holidays set up midweek on a wednesday they just decided to close for two weeks and so now we gotta play catch up and um get the charters going and uh we should be getting back to work next week i'll be back on the schedule and see how many runs we get um if we got a lot of work or a little work it's winter time so it's going to be slow i know i have something next sunday um the 19th i'll be running that's a request a uh, driver request from one of my groups that i know i'll be working um, but i don't know what i'm going to have during the week yet um, that remains to be seen so we just play a waiting game here and uh, enjoy what we got and relax and, <laughs> and once we get going, we'll get going. But that being said, as you know, in the past videos, I talked about looking for other more stable and steady work where I can get a more consistent paycheck. So uh, still got some irons in the fire waiting here back. But of course, with the holidays, everybody's slow and and things need to just kind of pick up and get back to normal so but anyway for the moment that's what we're doing we are waiting for our furniture to be delivered um, once it gets here maybe I will uh, show you what we got and, and talk to you a little bit more all right so as promised our new furniture has arrived and I promised you I'd show you uh, the new stuff and we got it and we rearranged a little bit and there's the dog she doesn't know what to do with herself because uh, we kind of took something away from her. But um, what ended up happening was she ripped the back of the sofa doing something that I'm going to show you in a minute. So uh, we took that opportunity away from her. So now she's a little bit befuddled because we rearranged and we put the sofa along that wall and we put the love seat right here as a room divider between the living room and dining room and put the lazy boy there by the window. She used to climb up on the sofa and uh, sit up in this bay window here. And as you can see, she uh, did a number on the wood and the paint. So I'm going to have to fix the window still. Um, but she used to sit up there and look outside. The cats taught her that. She thought she was a cat. And, um, when we got her, when she was a puppy, she did it. We thought she'd grow out of it. But 50 pounds later and she still went up in there and did that so what happened was like i said she ended up ripping the back of the sofa climbing up in there so that's why we needed to get this new stuff and um there's how i said we used the love seat as a room divider between the living room and the dining room and we got some tweaking to do and some cleaning up to do now that we rearranged but that's what it looks like all right so now that that's done now we can go up and get a shower we were waiting we did some cleaning this morning one final 
run it through with the sweeper, get the floor all nice and clean from where the old furniture was. And this stuff was delivered. The guys brought it in, and um, now we can go get a shower and do some other stuff today. I wasn't sure how long I was going to have to wait for them, but like I said, they got here about 9.30, so rather than wait until the end of the window or even beyond it, they came right at the beginning. So now we can go do some other stuff, and uh, tonight we're going to go out to dinner with some friends so we can get a shower and uh, get ready and run some errands and then head on down and pick up the wife at work and then go out to dinner tonight. So I guess that's it for now, and we will talk to you later on.